In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the F major 7 chord. Now, the reason why we're doing this before the F chord is, is the F chord we actually have to do as a bar. So before we jump into playing bar chords, I want to play a version, a variation of the F chord. Uh, it's going to be a little bit easier to play, actually a lot easier to play. Um, and you can, you can use this when you see, if you have sheet music and you see an F chord, uh, they can sometimes be interchangeable. So you can sometimes use this F major 7 chord um, instead of the regular F chord. Um, you want to use your ear a bit though, just to make sure that it sounds good, that it does work. But oftentimes when you see an F chord, you can replace it and use this F major 7 chord instead. So let's take a look. I'll do a little close up on the hands. And here's our F major 7 chord. Looks similar to our C chord. We're just moving our fingers down. And then we're leaving the E string open. So it sounds like this. We're also not playing the low bottom two strings. So the low E string and the low A string, we're not playing those. And just as a little trick, if you want to kind of cheat up there a bit and try to mute that A string with your third finger, just for when you're strumming, you don't have to avoid that string all the time. But essentially what we're doing is open string, E. Then we're going to place our first finger on the first fret of the B string, second finger, second fret of the G string, third finger, third fret of the D string. So just like that. And then if you're going from the C chord to the F major 7, It can be a pretty easy transition. And it's such a nice sounding chord as well. So that's the F major 7 chord. Again, you can use that instead of an F chord, at least for now, just until uh, your fingers are strong enough and then we can try to tackle the F bar chord. And I'm going to show you a few different variations of that in a later lesson. But the F major 7 chord, is it sounds really nice and it's an easier chord to play and I think you'll enjoy it. All right, we'll see you in the next lesson.